Just a friendly reminder from your boy Ace, don't forget to check out my boys at Omnime Store so that you can pick up some of the latest releases from MoFX, Dawson Model, Demoniacal Fit, and more for some of the best prices and the fastest shipping. Let's get into it. What the heck is up you guys? It's your boy Ace aka Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review and as you guys can see today we're going to be taking a look at the One Punch Man Garo and this is made by Dawson Model for those of you who don't know and I gotta say just based off what I'm seeing through this very small window on the package this figure looks really really dope. So let's go ahead and take a look at that sexy packaging and then we can bust this figure out and see what he's all about. Now for the sexy packaging, as you guys can see, you got a whole lot of nothing really going on here. But I will say you get this slight window right here. The figure looks pretty dope, even though they have him kind of ducked off to the side of the package. So you can just see a portion of him. And then of course you got some of the accessories right here. Does say One Punch Man, a peace sign, model action figure 2020 made in China. Top it just says One Punch Man, bottom it just says One Punch Man, nothing going on on the sides at all. And then of course on the back is probably where it's the best. You get this dope artwork of the character right here. Then all the warning choking hazards and all that type of stuff on the back. So not a whole lot going on with the package, but I mean, it's straight to the point. I can't complain about that. Probably saved them some money as well. So hey, let's do it. Yo, this figure is actually really freaking dope i'm not even gonna lie to y'all straight up i'm gonna be real i don't know anything about this character at all and i know i know i know i know ace come on anime is your thing how do you not know anything about it believe it or not i watched all of season one of one punch man i watched the first episode of season two and then i just dropped it off i was not feeling it i don't really like action gag anime that have great characters but then you have saitama who's just literally one-shotting everybody because of the fact that he's a gag character. I don't like that, and so that's what really got me out of the show. Now, that being said, I do really like the designs of most of the characters. Genos is awesome, but I got tired of watching him get his butt kicked just for Saitama to come in and one-punch the enemy that we just saw Genos have a badass fight with. I love characters like Sonic. I really love Sonic. And I don't know this dude, but I tried to do a little bit of research. And based on what I found out, he sounds like a dope character. Uh, I read through a couple of manga pages and I just saw Saitama hit him one time in the neck and then punch him. And I'm like, this dude knows super martial arts. He's known as the, the hero hunter or the monster hunter. Yes, like I said, I did research. And Saitama one-shots him. Like, that is so annoying. Because this dude's design looks phenomenal. And this figure just... Let's get into it. Anyway, first off, we got the hair sculpt. They did a solid job on this hair sculpt. As you guys can see, there's a lot of detail packed in there. And this doesn't look like a... I'm not even going to call it a bootleg figure. Because no one has made a quote-unquote authentic version of this guy. But... Look at the face, man. That looks so sick. You got all this shading in the hair. Um, then the body. This this body is just nice. I can't wait to talk about this when I get into articulation. But like the sculpt work on this guy. Um, it, this is not a solid black. It's like a black mixed with some navy blue. Uh, dark, dark, dark navy blue. But it is sick. You've got the wrinkles built in into the shirt. Like It just gives a whole lot of texture to it. Wrinkles at the sleeves, everything. Um, and the pants are just a solid color, but still, they look really dope. And then once you get down here, there's a little bit of shading. Actually, there's even some shading like right here on the thighs as well. So, no, it's not just a solid color. Like, this is dope, man. Um, Dawson Model, like, first of all, shout out to Omni Store for hooking me up with this guy. But... All the way down to the feet and the paint is so clean down here that's one thing i want to praise them for because it usually if it's like a a chinese company or a bootleg company as most people want to call it there's a whole lot of paint rub sometimes some paint smudges and some things that just don't come out clean in terms of looks of this figure i have no complaints whatsoever like this dude looks solid straight up 
if I'm grading this based on how this figure looks, 10 out of 10. Now, I know you guys are probably already tired of hearing me brag about this guy, but let's go ahead and put him back and see how tall he stands. I'm freaking loving this. Now, to the top of his forehead, as you guys can see, he's right above five and a half inches, but to the top of his hair, he's at about six and a half. So, he's going to fit in scale very well with any six inch figure, and so you guys don't have to worry about that. Now, I will say, if you have the Figma, Saitama, and Genos, he's going to be a little bit taller than them. Unfortunately, I don't have those figures anymore. They were major disappointments, but... After this guy, I am, I've am i made up my mind. I'm going to go get Genos, and I'm probably going to get Saitama just for the heck of it. Now, in terms of his articulation, he looks... Oh, I was not expecting that. G, G can look up very well. I dig this. I like this. He looks down about that much, and of course, it's going to come out of the neck, uh, and you can move it down a little bit further. So, not the most... Definitely not as much as he looks up, but it's still good. You do get tilt, of course. His head can turn all the way around. Uh, and actually, you get a whole lot more tilt than I showed. So, yeah, you can get a whole lot of expression out of this guy. I'm all for that. And then his arms go up and out that much. That's dope. He does also have a butterfly joint that works very well. So you can bring the fist all across the chest. He does have bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, a little stiff, but not bad at all. Doesn't feel fragile. His hands, I want to check this myself, actually. I think they're on a ball peg. Um, yeah, so just a standard ball peg. And I don't have any issues with these at all. As you guys can see, you can move it all around. And it came right off. Didn't feel like it was going to break. He has a dope diaphragm joint. Crunches forward about that much. Doesn't really crunch back. Actually, I take that back. Yes, he does. He crunches back about that much. Not a whole lot, but it's still there. Of course, he can twist and turn however you want to. Um, he does have a turn at the waist. So like a waist swivel. Dope. That is sick. He kicks forward about that much, kicks back almost not at all, but his legs go out that much, which is dope. So he can definitely get some kicks going on. He does have a built in thigh swivel, as you guys can see. And let me fix his legs. These are a little tough. Uh, there we go. So yeah, these are a little tough. Definitely be careful with these. Uh, he does have double jointed knees, work very effective. No issue with those. His uh, foot goes down about that much, up about that much. He does have ankle rocker, and he does have toe hinge. It was a little tough, but there it is. And I kind of expect that straight out of the packaging. But, yeah, articulation-wise, no complaints with this guy at all. He can do whatever you want him to do. Just be careful with the legs right around this area. Other than that, perfection. Now for accessories, you also get a very fair amount with this guy. First off, you do have his normal, neutral, I'm gonna kill you looking face. Of course, with a pair of fist hands, as every action figure should have. He comes with a pair of gripping hands. Although he doesn't come with anything to hold, it's still cool that they included these. He comes with a pair of, I'm just gonna call these martial arts hands uh, because I know he's real good in martial arts. I don't know any of his signature techniques or anything like that. But then he also comes with another pair, which these are super dope. Like, these look like the type of hand signs you might make if you're trying to attack pressure points or something. I don't know what these are for, but I just immediately think of Neji Huga. Uh, Naruto fans know what I'm talking about when I see these, but really, really dope. Um, now, in terms of faces... He comes with a few. Like I said, you get the default one where he's just looking smug like he's ready to fight. You do get one where he has a smirk. All the paint on these is really clean, by the way. And um, one thing I want to show, he comes with another one uh, where he's like grinning, showing his teeth. And if you look, you can actually see like he has really sharp teeth. Um, and at the top of the head right where the forehead is if you look there's even some shading so it's really cool that they added that and then lastly my favorite expression that he comes with is this one where it's like a sinister look you can really see the teeth um his eyes are like a little bit smaller and you just know this is him when he's ready to hunt to attack and i i dig this this is awesome man and that's not even it he also comes with um these i have no idea what these are for 
but they're like effect pieces for uh, pretty sure it's one of his attacks obviously and um this isn't it not, not only does he come with these but he comes with these and i'm going to show him how they came in the package that you can attach to him so like you can see which direction his attack is coming from and pretty much you just plug these into here i'll show this off in some of the photos later but this is dope man like Dawson model good job i'm i'm very happy about this now he also comes with a stand it's uh very very basic as you guys can see you do have the clamp on here if you want to use it if not you can just plug this piece right here into the back of the figure and as you guys can see holes right there and it goes right in no issues uh, not adjusted the way that it should be uh, there we go and we've got him standing he's kind of out of camera so let me zoom out a little bit and adjust and there we go kind of but um yeah he comes with a stand so very cool that they included that wish it said like one punch man or something on it but they probably couldn't do that now anyway he does come with instructions as well uh, for how to change out the accessories and of course the heads you just pop them off hands just pop them off there's the stand and then here it is again so or actually this is how you put on the effect pieces so yeah it's cool that they included all of this uh, they want you to know how to take care of your figures and i'm all for that now for some size comparisons here he is standing next to the revel tech my hero academia all might which i just reviewed and of course deku I figured I might as well show him next to some heroes since he loves to fight heroes. And this guy, he actually fits in scale with them well enough. Uh, not sure how tall he's supposed to be, but I do think that you could make it work. Next up here he is standing next to the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series Red Ninja with the Animated Heroes head swap on there. And then we have the Marvel Legends Retro Wave Spider-Man. And once again, I think he fits in with these guys well enough obviously since it's domestic it's going to be a little bit bigger here he is standing next to a hasbro black series stormtrooper i believe it's what this guy is i don't know but shout out to my boy garrett salter for this figure and then of course we have the mafex dark knight returns batman and once again i think he fits in scale well enough lastly here he is standing next to a sh figure art super man and then we have the Mezco 112 Collective Supreme Knight Batman with the exclusive head swap and looks good. So for the final segment of this video, I actually want to show this to let you guys know what I'm about to say is serious. The plastic on these effect pieces is very, very sharp. Be careful because... I'm actually bleeding like no joke. I was trying to put these on just to show you guys and some people might hate blood. So I'll take that off there. But be careful because this is serious. No joke. Now for my final thoughts on this figure, I'm going to be real with you guys. I don't have any complaints about this figure whatsoever. Now, if you can think of anybody who's ever had a figure that has made them bleed and they still tell you, yeah, I'm excited to pick that figure up and play with it. Let me know because this figure just did something entirely new for me. First of all, this was something I didn't even know I needed in my collection. Uh, this was sent to me as a courtesy once again from Omnime Store. Go get yours if you're a fan of One Punch Man. But I didn't know I needed this guy. And now that I have it, I'm like, wow, this is pretty freaking dope. Um, I'm definitely going to go back and get Genos and... More than likely, just to have him, I'm probably going to get Saitama. Um, I'm pretty sure I personally can live without him. But as long as they're executing figures like this, I will continue to be happy and I will continue to buy their work. I wish these guys would jump on Naruto or Yu Yu Hakusho. Like, if they produced it like this, they would get all of my money. This guy is just a really good figure. This is... I don't, I have no attachment to this character whatsoever. As I told you guys, I don't even know who he is. I had to do research before the review and I love this figure that much. It's awesome guys. Like I can't say it enough. This is just dope. It's a damn near flawless figure. My only issue is these damn porcupines right here, man. 
these things are sharp. I'm just letting you guys know right now. This will hurt you. So other than that, he's solid. Uh, and I know I've already said that. So that being said, this is my review. I hope that you guys did enjoy it. If so, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because that always helps me out. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified every time I upload more content. And follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. I'm Ace and I am out. Peace. Gotta go clean my injury.